Hello, this is Vampire uh, here to talk about the uh, CIA officer recommended uh, self-defense using a knife. So um, here I have uh, not an expensive knife and uh, it has Velcro to hold it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the Velcro in the back so that the knife is ready to go. Okay. So the officer had something like this and said that, you know, you put this inside your pants and then you can easily access it and go into the reverse grip and boom strike like that right um how do i feel about that well um it's inside your pants right here um <laughs> you have it inside and accessing it there um and then the possibility of running and um there's pressure, there's force involved. Uh, I'm personally not a big fan of that. And also when you access something like that, kind of similar to a concealed firearm carry, people pull the shirt up and then they go for the weapon, right? So one, two, that's fine. I mean, you need to practice that and you could get really quick with it. Uh, I would also practice it using one hand only. So move the shirt out with one hand, with the same hand, access the knife. I would practice that as well. But the reason why I'm not a big fan of just putting this right in front of my crotch, basically, is because, um, you know, if it if this thing moves or slips or, you know, goes under or whatever, you pull that, that's blade that can cut your pants. It can cut you, it can cut your you in the bladder area. So, yeah, because of that, I'm not a huge fan of that. I would prefer something like this, a neck knife that has a good uh, retention. So then um, with a neck knife, you just put this on and it goes under the shirt. So the access is actually kind of similar, right? So you could do a two-handed where you move the shirt out with one hand and then the other hand grabs the blade. Or you could do it, I would practice also, don't forget one hand where my right hand, boom, access immediately. And you might go, well, isn't that the same thing, though, with the pants? Because it, you still have to clear clothing in order to get to it. And the answer is no, it's not the same. And the reason because is with a shirt, you got a lot more leeway. So let's say, boom, boom. You saw that was pretty uh, smooth right there that I did, kind of in real-time speed. And you can see that the, the knife here is clear, okay? And I'm ready to pull it out. It's completely safe. I don't feel like I'm going to cut my chest or my clothing. So once again, boom, boom, right here, it's ready to go, and it's it's clear. With the pants, it's harder to do that. That's all I'm saying, okay? Now, you might say, well, what if my t-shirt is tucked in, inside my pants? Well, then I would suggest that you um, you change the way you wear your shirt. <laughs> that's that's really, you know, people, people say like, well... Uh, well, what if I'm in high heels or something like that? I, I say don't wear high heels then. If you're going to go to a sketchy area, don't be wearing high heels. Don't be like, you know, paying all your attention onto the phone or something like that. Those are things you have to give up. Um, and then the other thing is what if you have a jacket on top? Well, if you have a jacket on top, uh, then you can change the carry method to where it's more under the armpit. Okay, kind of like a, um, a firearm carry. So that way... You leave the jacket open and then you go into one side and then you can access uh, the knife that way. So then it would be, um, I don't know what it's, what it's called, but like a shoulder sling type of carry this way. So you could modify because it has plenty of uh, carry options as you can see with the sheath. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care folks.